Hi guys, Jimmy from Boxing Life, and of course, it's Fury vs. Usyk Fight Week, where we will finally see an undisputed heavyweight champion. Well, hopefully. Because it's such an iconic week in the sport, I thought I'd share some of the discussions I've had with some guests on the channel, including my own thoughts on both fighters and how it could even play out. So, let's get right into it. Fury Usyk, um, just wanted to hear your opinion on that. I know everyone's talked about this fight, obviously, but I just wanted to get your your thoughts and opinion on it and who who are you kind of siding with going into this? Okay. Um, I'm going to set your trolls up big time in your comments here <laughs> because for me now, this is an easy night for Usyk. Okay. Easy? Oh. Easy. <laughs> I think this is an easy night for Usyk. I think okay. um, by easy, I don't mean that he's going to, you know, walk over him and knock him out. I don't think that's yeah, going to happen. Yeah. I think he's just going to win pretty comfortably on the cards. Um, I don't, a, I don't think Fury has ever wanted this fight. B, I think he's got a lot, Usyk's got a lot of things in his favour. The the uh, southpaw stance, um, getting outside, his ability to switch stances as well, his footwork. Yeah. And also, I think um, if you look at, if you consider their styles, okay, and, and Fury is a very big man and he's obviously very mobile and he's a good counter puncher and he's got a nice jab. Now, Usyk also has all of those things, but he's not such a big man. Um, and I think he does them all in a more streamlined manner. Um, he's less open as he does them. He's more responsible mm -hmm. as he does them. And he has a better base as he does them. Now, does that mean he can't be hurt? No. But I think he's been hit by some big, big men in the past. And, you know, people forget that he was boxing at super heavyweight in the in the world. Uh, what was it called? World Series. Uh, boxing yeah. World, world Series of Boxing or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And, you know, he was boxing at super heavyweight and he was coming up against some enormous men. And, and you know, he was walking through. Him. And I think he's got a good chin. Um, I think a, a, a key thing for Fury is whether he gets to the body. If he can get to Usyk's body when he's leaning on him, that may change things. But otherwise, I think um, I'm going to say a comfortable points victory for Usyk, and we will have an undisputed heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. <laughs> Finally, after about is it 24 about years? Oh, uh, something uh, like who that. Who was the last Lennox Lewis? Lennox Lewis, yeah. Uh, crazy. Yeah. I know. Just I can't believe it's been this long, but uh, no, it's good. To, no, I'm just happy that the fact. Ho well, hopefully, it still happens. You know, especially after Fury pulling out, but. Wasn't um, there a wasn't there just, a ten million a ten million pound fee that he has to pay if he pulls out? Yeah, again? yeah. There's a huge fee, and I think there is a replacement opponent in case one of them does pull out. But I think it will go ahead this time. I generally do think that cut looked pretty bad. But yeah, yeah, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll see cut, what happens. The cut was 100%. Uh -huh. I believe oh, I did, yeah. people were saying the cut. You don't you don't fake cuts as a boxer. So cut, who do. cuts themselves? Yeah, I know. Like, I know. Literally, like you just wouldn't do it and. That's just putting yourself at risk in future fights. It's stupid. No one would do that. Then, obviously, is a month today uh, is Ooh. obviously Fury versus Usyk, and the Ring of Fire. They're kind of, they've named the. I, I love these uh, themes. Yeah, I know. I like it. Now it's cool. a cowboy theme. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. What are your thoughts? What's your? Ooh. Have you got? Have you got a final prediction yet? Or well, to be honest. Before the fight with Nganu, I thought yeah. Fury would be like too big and too much for Usyk. But after seeing that kind of performance, and you know, as they say, you're only as good as your last performance. That's true. Yeah. So um, after seeing that Fury was in fact hurtable, you know, um, even by a guy like Nganu, who who's who had his very first fight, um, I think I think now I'm edging. I think now I'll be edging Usyk a bit more. Okay. I think Usyk's, um, you know, he's southpaw. You know, that's always a problem. And his, uh, his, his angles, his angles will be. Um, I think he'll be able to get through Fury's jab quite comfortably. And yeah. I think he, I think Usyk will be winning the jab fight, even if he's the shorter man. And the thing about Usyk is. Unlike other guys, he'll really touch you up. You know, with his fight with Joshua, he was constantly touching Joshua up. Even even if there's no more power in those punches, he'll touch you up again and again. And I think um, 
yeah, I, I think eventually it will be too much for, for Fury. But, you know, may, you never know. Maybe Fury didn't really train his hardest. Uh, in Ganyu, Ganyu, yeah. You know, maybe. But uh, I also look at, like, who Fury has fought. And I think really the, the biggest name I could think of him fighting was Wilder. And and he also defeated Klitschko. Uh, Klitschko yeah. But that performance was kind of not, not much really happened in that fight. And then uh, when I compare him with a uh, Usyk's resume, you know, he he became undisputed at cruiserweight, um, he, and he he had he defeated Joshua quite convincingly. Um, yeah, I also look I also look at that, and I think uh, Usyk might just be you know too too much for uh, Fury. Right. How about you? Yeah. You, you have any thoughts? Uh, uh, so uh, I was like, I guess like last week. Probably I was very much more on the Usyk side, but I'm doing a, a breakdown at the moment, just doing oh, like okay. my, my edit for it and stuff and just been watching both guys. And I, I do think the size is going to be a significant factor for Fury. I think, uh, like you said, I think he's going to struggle with um, like Usyk's movement and I think he'll struggle to uh, to kind of nail him down at first and it'll be interesting to see fury's approach will he take more of a back foot approach or will he try and put it on him and just make it as messy and horrible for usik as possible put his body weight on him because we've seen him do that in the past uh, fury. Yeah, we, uh, and, and with wilder. yeah for, with wilder and um you know i think i just feel I do, I, do you remember? Have you ever seen that fight, Fury versus Cunningham? And Cunningham oh, it's one of his uh, early, earlier earlier fights. fights. And I know yeah, this yeah, is yeah, many yeah. years ago, but you know Cunningham, he used to be a cruiserweight himself. He moved up to heavyweight, very quick, explosive cruiserweight. And Fury just couldn't in the the early rounds couldn't get a grip of him because of his movement. And then and then obviously he got knocked down by Cunningham. And then it was like a a light switch. He was just like, that's it. You just decided to start walking him down. Like I said, make it messy, fight him on the inside, put his Putting body weight, weight on him. Yeah. And it just sapped his energy away so quickly to the point where he was able to, to knock him out. But whether that happens with Usyk, I don't think so. I think Usyk's movement is too good. I think he's very hard to tie down. But as we've seen with uh, both Joshua and Dubois, they've been able to hurt him to the body in both of those last two fights. Um, I know there's the whole low blow controversy. Low blow. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that will be a, a prime target from Team Fury is to target that body of Usyk and make it as messy as possible for him. Don't let him get into a rhythm. Uh, but saying that, I can also see Usyk probably knowing Fury might come out with that approach, so it, it, he might try. He'll might like kind of like Bivol versus Peter Biev, like we were talking about before. You know, is he just going to avoid him as much as possible? Use his jab, try and set him up with counters, and and just keep moving all night. So, but I just I think the size is going to be a big factor going into this. Um, as much as I, I think it would be great to see Usyk win, you know, considering he's facing a guy that's six foot nine, it, it's hard for me to see. How tall, call how tall is Usyk again? He's six foot three, I believe. Oh, um, uh, they... and even like I know, and even like uh, when he faced Anthony Joshua, he looked small. That's and, true. You know, he's six three. You know, he, he is a big guy. You know, he's not like he's a small man. He's yeah. a big guy. He's strong. That Fury's very big. Yeah. Fury, Fury's, Fury's a very better, yeah. big. Fury's yeah. a very big man. And it's not like uh, Usyk's, like in Ganu, for example, you know, he's not, he's got knockout power. Yeah. It was uh, like, he, it's not like Usyk he can touches get you, you one punch. Yeah. Usyk touches you up. He gets you with volume. He won't have that against, against Fury. I mean, sorry. Uh, he won't have that knockout one punch against Fury, which in Ganu had. So that's also yeah. the issue. And and Fury is also, you know, as compared to a lot of guys Usyk fought, uh, Fury is perhaps the most unorthodox style. You know, he's pretty jittery. You know, he makes a lot of those jittery yeah. movements that can kind of confuse. He can fight of... Southpaw himself as well. 
you know, if he wants to. He's a natural southpaw. So, you know, could he throw that in as an element of surprise? Or could we see Fury look to box on the outside, try and draw Usyk in? Because he is so big, you know? Um Usyk's gonna have to go Mike Tyson mode. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> because, because Usyk, like Fury could literally like put him hold him like that. That that's uh-huh. how long that's how big Fury is. But I, yeah. I'm still gonna I, I'm still gonna go for, for Usyk. I, I think he I think he's got what it takes to, you know, to defeat, you know, despite everything that Fury can do. I, I still think Fury, uh, Usyk's angles and and uh, footwork, he'll be able to get through that. And, you know, uh, U- Fury's a big guy, but I still think Joshua is a bigger puncher. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if if Fury, if Usyk could, like, was able to withstand those kind of blows from, from Joshua... Because some of those punches landed clean on Usyk, and and yeah. you know he was still going forward. So, um, I I think I think if he can withstand that kind of pa- firepower, then he can also withstand the firepower Fury has to show. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think um, it'll be interesting. And, and, and to Usyk, see. when he punches, he, he he won't stop. You know, he'll really even if they're not strong, he'll really touch you up. And I think that's gonna that that kind of volume. Will will eventually, you know, it'll it'll might be too much for Fury. Yeah. But you know, it, you never know. It's kind of one of those. It's like, it, I, well, we all know how Usyk will try and fight. You'll want to use lots of movements. You'll want to get behind his lead hand and use lots of feints, and come in and try and, you know, slip Fury's jab to set up his left hand. And yeah. I think we know how Usyk will probably approach the fight. It's more how Fury approaches it for me, you know. Is like I said, is he gonna be more cautious, or is he just gonna stick it on him straight away, like a bit like Chisora did against him, and make him as uncomfortable as possible? Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm interested to see. I, I reckon it'll be a cagey first few rounds. I think they'll both be checking each other out. Um, Usyk will want to see the kind of feints and movement of Fury, and I think Fury as well will want to see, you know. You know what's what's Usyk doing with his movement? Is, is he moving out to his right a lot? Is he trying to slip his jab? Yeah, I'm. I'm it's it, it's an interesting matchup. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think. Or Fury versus Usyk. Um, I've been changing my mind back and forth constantly, but now I'm a bit. I think I'm a bit more set in who I think is actually going to win. But you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts first, Francis, and the fight itself. And you know, who do who are you favoring as well going into this one? So I, do, I think the thing that people have taken a lot too much from is the Ngannou fight with you, with Fury. Because you take two points from it, from my opinion. I think Fury is either not bothered to train for Ngannou, ends up looking terrible, or you get something that's often talked about where Fury fights to the level of his opponent. You know, when he fought, for example, an Otto Wallen, or when he came back after losing all that weight, he didn't look his best, right? And yeah. then he trains properly and he comes back and he beats Deontay Wilder. I think it's, what, the third one where he puts the best performance on? Can he do it against Usyk? Does he perform in the way he needs to? My only thing, and this is a weird tangent, is I think he's tendency to cut. I think he cut in the Ngannou fight, the sparring, and the Otto Wallen fight, if I'm correct, mm-hmm. when he's wearing the American shorts. Does that make a difference? Especially when you have Southpaw versus Orthodox, does that eye get targeted more? Small yeah. things like that. Um, the size difference, I think, is quite large. I mean, was it Usyk who fought Joe Joyce in the amateurs? Yeah. You see the size difference between the two people. I think that Fury is just so big and so long and so difficult. He's almost able to lean over and make things difficult. Yeah. Problem is Usyk is just so good. Like Usyk mm-hmm. is fundamentally phenomenal. You know, it's this what's a Lomachenko's father name, it's that influence, you know. So I yeah. can't picture it, I can't figure it out. I think it really depends how Usyk sorry, how Fury turns up. And if he turns up in good fashion, I think it's a decently not easy night, it's a bad word to use, but I think he can do it. I think he pulls okay. it off. Okay. Do you think you'll... How about yourself? So, before I was very much Fury, I felt... And maybe this might happen, I don't know. I just feel like if he's to basically tie up Usyk as much as possible when he tries to close the range. And 
mm-hmm. I feel because you kind of get the feeling the Saudis are kind of favoring Fury as well. You know, is he going to get away with it depending who the ref is? And I just feel like he's just going to make it messy and horrible whenever Usyk gets into range. However, saying that, I feel, you know, guys have tried to do that to Usyk in the past and they've just not been able to. And who's to say Fury's going to be mm-hmm. able to do that? And the other question as well, you know, could he kind of fight it from kind of long guard instead, you know, kind of using his, his reach to his advantage? Because he, he obviously will have it. And especially in a Southpaw Orthodox kind of matchup, you know, you, you know, the, that that's going to be a more, you know, compared to Josh, even like someone like Joshua or another big guy, you six faced in the past, you know, he's still going to have to close more distance to get on the inside yeah. or even to land his left hand. And this is where I'm about, you know, it just to kind of, it, like you're saying, it kind of depends how Fury approaches it. I don't know. I think you six just so slippery with his footwork you know, I think he's going to target the body like mm. crazy, which is going to really offset Fury's rhythm. And then that's going to lead for openings up top. However, saying that, it's, you know, like I said, you know, he still needs to get into that range with Fury. So he's going to really have to try and get in that outside position and, uh, you know, to be able to actually hit Fury. Otherwise, Fury's just going to tie him up, sure. hold him, put his weight on him. And, yeah, that that's where um, I'm kind of, you know, this is where I'm, I keep changing my mind, as you can tell. But I just feel, you know, mm-hmm. with Usyk's footwork, he's just he just makes it so difficult for you to even do that. And the pressure yeah. with his lead hand as I well is uh, always probing, and it's just yeah, I can't see how Fury kind of is able to to hold him on the inside all the all the time. But yeah, sorry, off you go. What were you gonna say? was um, really relevant to what you said with um, when Fury fought, I think it was, you must remember the Fury fight when he fought Wilder and they were talking about how the, the costume would weigh them down. I think oh, what yeah. Fury basically did was every time he got near him, he would basically lean on him and allow him to sort of use his weight to tire him out. The, it's easy to do that to Wilder, who's relatively static. He's kind of where you need him to be. But I think against someone like Yusek, who moves so well and he's angling off and he's doing things, I think it's a lot harder thing to do. The only thing that does interest me is the fact that Fury has the ability to change between Southpaw and Orthodox. And in my opinion, one of the best ways to neutralize someone who's Southpaw is to turn yourself Southpaw. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, recently in the UFC, when Sean O'Malley fought against Cheeto Vera the first time, basically what Cheeto Vera would do is he would turn himself into the same stance as O'Malley to not allow him to have that manipulation of stance. It is a great tactic if you can do it. And I think Fury does box well enough out of Southpaw to be able to turn himself into Southpaw to fight with Usyk, if that makes sense. So that could be really interesting as well, I think, to see what he decides to do in terms of tactics and what stance mm-hmm. he comes out in. No, that would be good. Yeah, no, I'm interested to see if, if he will actually switch stance, um, go southpaw. I, I actually think he will at one point. I think he'll, just to kind of kind of show to Usyk, I'm the bigger man, basically. I can box southpaw or orthodox. And mm-hmm. uh, I'm kind of intrigued yeah. to see if he actually does that. But yeah, but, It'd be fun, but then at the same time, Usyk he switches as well. <laughs> That's the other thing, you know. Yeah, he'll he'll use um, that kind of Eastern European shift at times, go into an orthodox stance to land his his uh, his his uh, right hand, which I believe is actually a stronger hand. I think that's his dominant hand. So, as well. um, from what I understand, I think Lom- so. Both both trained originally by um, Lomachenko's father, from what I understand. I think yeah. uh, Lomachenko is also a right handed southpaw as well. Um, yeah. very similar to Bruce Lee funnily enough I don't know if it comes from the same kind of lineage or idea yeah. um, the right handed southpaw I mean that's a that's a thing within itself right um, I think a big factor that I've always loved about Usyk is uh, you've probably heard as well the four minute rounds in sparring in training camp mm-hmm. if you can get Fury I mean especially with the size he is and if he comes in properly if you can get him tied you know in the later rounds probably plays especially for someone who moves as well as Fury does, how does that play out? You know, is the fitness a big thing? And I think that could make a massive factor as well. So Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. And I guess just the last point I want to make about it, it's just, um, you could argue the wear and tear of both guys as well. I know people are talking about Fury, um, but even, you know, Yusek, you know, he's been boxing for so long as well, you know, in the amateurs. And then, you know, he's had some tough fights as well in the pro game. And uh, obviously Fury, he's been down quite a lot, I guess, obviously, uh, Wilder and Ganu and, uh, I think it was Steve Cunningham as well, obviously. That's the one. Yeah. Big round yeah. over the top. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that was, uh, 
<laughs> that was an interesting fight as well, watching that back. And just the way Fury as well kind of changed tactics. He was just like, you know what? I'm just going to make this a messy fight. I'm just going to fight this guy, mm -hmm. basically. And uh, it worked. And that's kind of where I'm thinking, you know, will he do that against Usyk? It'll be interesting to see. Hope you enjoyed these discussion, guys. If you want more content like this, make sure to check out my tactical overview for Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Unfortunately, due to some copyright issues, I had to cut some of that video down. However, you guys can get the edit without any cuts on my Patreon, and you can use the free trial in the link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the fight when it comes, and I'll see you in the next one.